During this lecture, we're going to be talking about methods in order to study the DNA protein interactions. Now, the first method we're going to be talking about is actually footprinting or DNA footprinting. Now, the principle of this technique is pretty simple. We have a DNA fragment, and this DNA fragment is usually obviously it is bound by particular proteins at different locations our main point our main goal of this particular method is to actually know the locations or the sizes of the fragments where this uh, where these proteins are actually bound so the steps that involve this uh, particular experiment are actually as follows first we're going to be talking about radioactive we're going to be taking a radioactively labeled cloned dna fragment and then we're going to be adding proteins. These proteins are going to be binding on top of this DNA fragment. Obviously, this is double-stranded, but we do it as single-stranded for simplicity. After that, we're going to be uh, leaving it for a while in order for to allow these proteins in order to bind on this double-stranded fragment. And then we're going to be adding DNA as well. Now, this enzyme is actually important because we're going to be producing mix inside this DNA fragment, and it is not going to perform, be performing mix in regions that are actually that have protein. Uh, on them. So basically it is going to be cleaving the entire part, the entire fragment, except locations where there is uh, where there are proteins. Now, um, so just like uh, it's written here, well, then we're going to be performing electrophoresis in order to separate the DNA fragments depending on their sizes, and then we're going to be drawing the sample and performing a sort of autoradiography. Now, autoradiography, uh, since we actually labeled it, uh, labeled it before, we, we can actually visualize them. Now, basically, here, we're going to be getting, uh, after autoradiography, we're going to be getting these, this particular um, uh, view. And uh, we're going to be noticing a couple of things here. First, that we don't actually have any fragments here. This is, this is going to actually, <coughs> actually going to be proving that we have a protein that is present at this location and this location of these particular samples. However, here, in this fragment that we actually can visualize, there are no proteins. Why do we, how do we know that there's a protein here? It is because since DNA1 cannot actually perform uh, since DNA one, one cannot actually perform any cleavages in locations where there are uh, proteins, therefore we can actually prove that these locations do not have any bound proteins. Now, uh, a couple of things you actually have to keep in mind here and here. A couple of things you actually have to keep in mind is that this process does not actually allow us to know where uh, no fragment sequence, the fragment that we're actually talking about, we cannot actually know the sequence. Then, um, this is an enzymatic way in order to uh, perform DNA footprinting. However, we can also do the same process chemically using the chemical dimethyl sulfate. And identical footprint is essentially when we have two different proteins that are actually bound to the same DNA fragment, um, they're going to be obviously, uh, that we're going to get the same DNA fragment here even though we have two different proteins and not one. And this is actually called the identical footprint.